Some 40 in my right car. This is changing. I like I ain't noticed. Get in money, nigga. That my main focus. Hey guys, my name is Shay Fierce, welcome to another video, and today we are reacting to Slumber Parties on the Witches Gatherings. From Let Me Explain Studios, now this is third 13 on trending, so you know it's trending anyway. I've never been to a slumber party. As you know, as you know, I've been to a slumber party before, That that's one thing I can probably brag about. Um, yeah, I've been to a slumber party, it's fun, I've never been there on Halloween though. So her saying those are witches gatherings is kind of weird. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Let Me Explain Studios and myself. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the video. Watch, watch this get jump scene. Oh, well, shit, she's just tired. <laughs> Oh no! I'm so spooked. Oh. <laughs> so we got alienation. Odd one. When I was a kid, why is there only one boy in there? Just like these sacred rituals of girlhood, a strange and mysterious rite of passage that all girls do. If there was a cartoon on TV that featured girls, there would always be a slumber party episode. And as a kid, I was fascinated by the concept. This Hollywood portrayal of what girls do when they band together in the dead of night. And don't get me wrong, I saw the hyper-girliness of it all. Makeovers, bullies, an excessive amount of giggling. But that was just the surface level. There was something else between the there lines was that felt... something under. ...mischievous. Wicked, even. But it wasn't really until adulthood that I finally figured out why. What? Tell me something. When you think of those time-honored traditional slumber party activities, which ones come to mind? Perhaps the Video game where games, you stand in front of a mirror Minecraft. and summon an evil spirit? Bloody Mary! Bloody Mary! Bloody Mary! Or is oh, it the no. folding of paper to reveal Whoa. the future? And the fortune teller says, yes, you will be an author. I know they a lot of girls that are my friends, and I'm pretty sure they will be doing more that. Beautiful. And then a spoonful of honey and a dash of ginger. <laughs> and that's how you be making mo I mean, moss. Or perhaps you know, it's performing levitation. Things, things. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Now, doesn't all of this sound like <gasps> witchcraft? Well, you're part of it too, so you can't be lying. I am pretty much convinced there's a weird parallel between slumber parties and witch gatherings. To me, there's just a few too many occult themes hidden amongst the hair braiding and the pillow fights. Ghost, for example. They tend to come up as a common theme at slumber parties, sometimes as ghost stories or scary movies. Now, my regulars on this channel know that I have an affinity for the idea of spectrals and spirits, but my mega fans know that there's one spooky device that I will not touch. And that would be a Ouija board. A Ouija board? It's fucking a Ouija board. Even as common places well, they when are they're like, be doing this? Is there someone here with us? <laughs> Nothing more girly than opening up a door to the spirit world and provoking whatever's on the other side. It's your boy. Bloody Mary is a very popular way of doing this, too. Most of us have heard of this classic childhood test of courage. It has many variations, but the basic idea is this. You get yourself a good old candle or flashlight, you stand in front of a mirror in the dark, you say Bloody Mary three times, and bada bing bada boom, you got yourself a vengeful spirit in the mirror that may or may not kill you. Fun for the whole family. Yeah! If you actually see something in the mirror, what's most likely happening is a thing called pareidolia, where your brain tries to fill in the gaps when given a vague stimulus. It's hard to see in the dim lighting, so your brain tries to piece together something familiar. It's why people see faces in potato chips, and why that Wait, cloud looks like a duck. Wait, we what? girls also I don't have to practice our fair share of fortune telling. I'll, I'll admit the crowd, but the chips we don't be making sense. We have many devices to do so. Paper fortune tellers that we used to call cootie catchers when I was a kid. Magic cootie eight catchers. balls. The game MASH, which, if you didn't know, stands for Mansion, Apartment, Shack, or House. And even the more modern game of Charlie Charlie is a take on a pretty old Spanish paper and pencil game called Juego de la Lapicera, also played by generations of girls trying to predict the future. Though I fully admit that despite my best efforts as a kid, I don't have much clairvoyance. 
Never really saw the whole single workaholic YouTuber thing coming. Speaking of creepy old traditions meant for kids, I know most of us internet-dwelling mole people are aware of the supposedly dark origins of archaic rhymes like Ring Around the Rosy and Mary Mary Quite Contrary, but my personal favorite straight up slaps you in the face with brutality. No pocket full of posies poetic imagery here. I'm talking about the Lizzie Borden skip rope rhyme. Wait, what? I I've heard of it, but I don't like. I don't think. When she saw what she had done, gave her father forty-one. <laughs> well, when you make now, it let's just contextualize this for a moment here. This would be like somebody making up a cheery little kid song about the Manson murders. <laughs> And they say we're the twisted generation. So I can't make a video about the creepy things little girls do without mentioning our iconic toy, the doll. I can't you stand know, dolls. The Those one be toy that has documented cases of demonic possession. And who else has dolls? <gasps> Witches. <laughs> Witches have been using dolls called poppets for centuries. They're made of a lot of natural materials like carved root, potatoes, cloth, branches, and they're used to cast Why is Now admittedly, no little girls at slumber parties don't normally use their dolls for the dark arts. But these things do have a tendency to make us feel uneasy sometimes, especially when they're in groups. And I think a lot of that has to do with the uncanny valley, in which an observer is more repulsed by an inanimate object the closer it resembles a human being. Just bear in mind, that's what little girls have been raised on for centuries. The last occult slumber party Weirdos. game that I want to talk about is one that I never actually got to do. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. This is the game where you supposedly make a member of your witch party levitate off the ground. One girl lies on her back while everyone else gathers around and puts one or two fingers from each hand underneath her. Everyone chants light as a feather, stiff as a board several times and then counts to three. And on three, everyone is able to lift her up relatively effortlessly with just their fingers, as though she were practically weightless. But do be careful with this spell, young witches. In the event you should drop your levitating friend, <laughs> your powers won't be advanced enough to heal a fractured spine. Now what's actually happening in this circumstance is simple science. With everyone lifting on three, the weight is evenly distributed, and fingers are a lot stronger than we give them credit for. Myth busted. Yeah, they be doing some I think things. I've made a pretty good case for the idea that we ladies have all secretly been raised as witches. But you know what? We live in modern times. Everyone can be witches and have whatever kind of stuff. I don't want to be. I want to be a Play the spooky witch games or have a last gamer standing smash tournament. Discuss anime. Work on a fursuit. Who cares? This really is. That really would be the modern slumber party. As long as no one's getting hurt. For real, I don't want to get a letter from a lawyer because one of you dropped someone playing light as a feather, got it? Lawyers use some real dark magic. Anyways, my geeks and creeps, thank you so much for tuning in, but Anyways, now I hope y'all enjoyed this out. video. Bye! We're just gonna, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Let Me Explain Studios and myself. I am so sorry that, like, I have not been as energetic. I'm, like, kind of tired. And that's literally it. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe and comment to let me explain to you myself. And other than that, yeah, goodbye my phone reactors. And trick or treat.